I haven't been a fan of AI writers in the past. In fact, I've been kind of vocal about how I don't know if they work that well, but I've been hearing from a lot of my friends and peers and even people that I interview on this channel that the AI writers have gotten so much better and they're quite usable. So I decided to check out the tools with an open mind and realistic expectations. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick demo. I'm actually gonna sign up for Jasper, one of the most popular tools out there, and I'm gonna try to use it. I literally will be signing up. I haven't used it in a very long time. We're gonna see what it can do with uh, just a pretty simple task, and we'll jump into it. I'll give a little feedback. Now, if you wanna see more of these reviews, I'm planning on doing a full review with Jasper and other tools like ScaleNut, Writer, AnyWord, Phrase, and a handful of others as well. I'm gonna be going deep, talking about the results and accuracy, how to use the tools, comparisons against other tools like this tool versus another, and sometimes they have uh, different packages like Jasper has like a basic package and then a boss mode. And I'm gonna talk about those as well. So if you're interested in learning more about the AI tools, learning along with me, because I am not an expert in using AI tools. But if you want more, then you can subscribe to the channel. Additionally, I'm probably gonna to put together a repository of the content that is output, longer demos, more information. You could follow the link in the description, it'll be it's a, it'll be free, but it will be a place where you log in and you can check it out. So follow the link in the description and let's move on to the demo right now. I wanted to start with Jasper because it is one of the most popular tools out there. And one thing that you may be thinking about is which package to get. So I alluded to it before. They have the starter package, the boss mode, as you can see here, and the business. So the business is definitely... Uh, beyond what I want to do. However, we do have a decision to make. They do tell us that the boss mode is the most popular, so we'll keep that in mind. And there's a couple like key distinctions, which I'll go into more depth on the full review. But basically, I want to get the boss mode because there's a lot more capability in there. So we have the Google Doc style editor. We have um, more content look back, which allows uh, Jasper to look back further. And basically it improves the output and you have more in limits on the templates. And generally there's just more capabilities, the things that we need. So I am going to move forward with the boss mode. I am an affiliate for Jasper and any of the other tools that I'll be reviewing. You can get a five day, 100% money back guarantee. So you can test out these tools, uh, even boss mode for five days, at least that's my understanding. So that's what I'm gonna move forward with here. I'm gonna have to sign up. So I'm gonna do this really quick and put in my credit card information, all that kind of business. And then I'll be right back. One of the biggest issues with the AI tools, at least for me personally, was expectations. I thought you'd be able to provide a topic and get a document on the other side. It could be a paragraph, it could be a full blog post or anything like that. But when I tried the tools initially, I couldn't even get a good paragraph. Now, to be fair, I didn't use Jasper the first time that I tried it, but I was not impressed. And over time, like I said, I've heard that they've gotten much better. Now, one of the big pros with Jasper and why I'm starting here is there's all these different templates. So as you can see, I'm in my uh, area here. So I have a dashboard, I'm in the boss mode, and it looks like I have five days to um, you know, get these uh, 5,000 credits or something like that. Of course, you can read the fine print here. And the big thing is they have templates. So you can use the documents and let Jasper help you write longer articles from start to finish. You can do paragraphs. You can do sales documents, the ADA, where it's uh, attention, interest, desire. You can do problem, agitate, solution, and so on. So there's all these different things you can do from blog post ideas to um, Google ad descriptions, Google headlines, you can go Amazon descriptions, 
captions for Instagram, you could do scripts for YouTube and so on. So there's a bunch of these, a bunch of formats already identified and you should be able to hop in and start using them. I'm doing this in real time. I literally haven't done this before and I'm gonna try to make it easier. So I'm going to start with something shorter. We're not gonna go for a full document. We're going to aim for something that I can use potentially. So I'm, I'm gonna to go to the content improver area. So we take a piece of content and then we rewrite it to make it more interesting, creative, or engaging. So I'm gonna hop over to my blog, Niche Site Project, and there's a specific section here. It's um, the Amazon Affiliate Frequently Asked Questions. So I put in uh, essentially what is uh, kind of a placeholder here, a very short intro just to get it started. And then there's a bunch of questions listed here. So there's not much to it. This is really just an intro for a section. So I'm gonna put it in here. I put the content in here and it looks like I put in about 406 words and I could have put in as many as 800, sorry, 406 characters and I can put in as many as 800. And then I can select the tone that I want. And uh, let's see, we can say witty, friendly, angry, polite, professional. And we'll, you know what? I'm not sure which one I want. Uh, we'll say, how about, I wonder if I could put two. We'll put, uh, we'll put professional here. Put professional and we'll generate the AI content. So here's what it was before. Here are some of the most common questions I hear on YouTube, blog comments and emails. These are mostly related to Amazon affiliate niche sites, but many of the ideas are universal. I cover WordPress themes, hosting, on-site SEO, off-site SEO, link building, and keyword research. So browse around and read them all. Be sure to check out the full Amazon affiliate marketing niche site process, and then it's a link out. So here's what we have in the, I guess we have two options or at least two paragraphs here. You might be wondering, what am I supposed to do? Or how does this work for me? Well, first of all, let's start with the basics. You want an Amazon affiliate niche site, right? Here are some common questions people often ask when they hear about sites. What is, Word, what is a WordPress theme that has been specifically designed by experts in their field so you don't have to have any technical skills required at all? Just pure marketing muscle. They can help you get your website up and running within minutes. Okay, so they're kind of missing the point here and towards the end it kind of goes off topic. So they can help you get your website up and running within minutes, including content creation and design alongside per Maple build. I don't know what that last part <laughs> means. The last part says whether you're just starting out with your first affiliate site or have hundreds of them, there's a lot to take in when it comes down how sites are set up. We've compiled all the questions I'm regularly asked on YouTube and blog comments here for easy reference. So overall, I think it has gathered um, most of the broad points. I think I, I think some of this is actually a pretty good improvement. Like you might be wondering, what am I supposed to do? But I kind of want to qualify that a little bit more. So um, how does this work for me? Same deal. It's kind of vague, but maybe if we changed it to what am I supposed to do when I'm starting my first niche site or how do Amazon affiliate niche sites work and what does it mean to me? Maybe, of course, at the end, there's uh, some gibberish here. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, we have, they can get your website up and running. And the thing is the whole page is, FAQs. So I don't really want to start with number one, uh, word, what is a WordPress theme that's specifically designed by experts in the field so you don't have any blah, blah, blah. So that's kind of out of place there. So I think maybe if you, if we trim this down, we can end up with something that is useful. So I would potentially edit it down to something like this. So I, I think I could open this in docs. What does this do? Okay. So this is the editor. So I could actually edit it here. And I want to get rid of this little thing. Nope, I don't want to play that. Um, 
So usability here, I'm not 100% sure of. I don't know how to get rid of this crap over here. Um, so I'm gonna try and type, even though I can't see all the text over here. Um, I really wanna get rid of that. But, you know, maybe, maybe someday. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, so if you click this little thing here, it'll make the, the tooltip go away. So you might be wondering, and we, we do have Grammarly in here, so that is part of the boss mode. So Grammarly does help us change it, and I agree. You might wonder, what am I supposed to do when starting in... Amazon affiliate site. And we'll just keep it simple. Um, next thing we notice right off the bat, this phrasing sucks. Well, first of all, let's start with the basics. So we're missing a few commas, you know, even I can see that. And it's really just stalling. Right, these four words here, it doesn't mean anything. Well, first of all, and then let's start with the basics. So I don't even know if any of this is necessary up there. So we could just say, let's start with the basics. You want an Amazon affiliate site, right? So I think we're missing another comma there. And then here are some of the common questions. So Maybe we want to change that up because we don't really want to get into that part of it yet. The whole page is FAQs. So we can say, here are some of the common questions people often ask when they hear about these sites. So instead of saying, here are, we'll say this post, this post lists some common questions people often ask and common and often is kind of redundant list some questions. So we'll say, we'll take out often. Okay. So I've used it for the content improver and you, you tell me actually leave a con comment below and let me know if you think this has actually improved from what we had before, which says, here are some of the common questions I hear. And essentially, you know, I was trying to write this in as few words as possible. So here's what it is. Here's where the information came from. And here's the topic areas. And that's pretty much it. I was trying to keep it brief. And I don't know if this, you know, we end up with something different. They tried to beef it up a little bit more. I don't know if it actually improved it. I think we're basically saying kind of the same thing. But you let me know in the comments below. So this was just a quick little demo. Um, I think we can have another attempt at it. And I'm going to hop back over. And we're going to go back to the template area. And here's something else, this explain it to a child. So rephrase text to make it easier to read. Now, unfortunately, we can only put in 800 words here, which is it's too bad because I wanted to put in a very long piece of content here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to put in as much as I can here, actually, Let's do the intro to affiliate marketing. Again, this is uh, my website, Niche Site Project, and we're going to look at the intro section. We can only put in 800 characters or so, so I'm gonna try to get down to the intro section, the pros and cons of the Amazon affiliate program. It may be too much, yep, so we ran out of space. So we'll just have to leave it at that. So we got 791 characters and I'm going to, it says a, an eighth grade level. I'm going to change it to a sixth grade level here and generate the AI content. It does seem to be very quick. So it only took, that's real time. It only took a second or two and I'm not going to read the whole thing out again. You can see I have some, uh, probably some. <laughs> some suggestions from Grammarly too. So we're not dealing with like a perfect, perfect document up front. Okay. 
So we have a couple options here. Here's how affiliate marketing works. If you recommend a product to someone and they buy it, you get a commission. It is a simple idea, but it might be new to you. I was in the same position as you when I first heard about affiliate marketing. I found the Smart Passive Income podcast in 2013. At the time, I didn't know anything about affiliate marketing or making money online. And then it goes in a little bit deeper. There are a lot of different affiliate programs out there. For example, you can work with a big marketplace like ShareASale who help match up marketers with retail companies. There are also marketplaces that have a focus on information products and software like ClickBank or Commission Junction. Lastly, there are programs with, and then it ends, so I'm not sure why it ended there. Uh, no clue on that. And then I'm not, I guess it looks like uh, maybe they give us two options here. And it's very simple. There are a lot of blah, blah, blah. Or is this exactly, uh, yeah, so it, it rephrases it a little bit. So it is pretty close to what we had before. The concept is very simple, but it may be new to you. And I was right there with you. There are a lot of affiliate programs available to marketers. For example, you could work with a big marketplace like ShareASale who help match up marketers with retail companies. So this is actually uh, pretty decent. Um, this has simplified it a little bit, but not too much. If you look at what I wrote before, maybe I already wrote it in a very simple way with my simple mind, but we end up with something that is uh, grammatically correct. Actually, it may be better than what I wrote initially, but I don't, I don't think it's actually much simpler than what it was before. It doesn't mean that the Jasper is not a good tool. It just means maybe I wrote it in a simple way. So maybe I need to find something more complicated to put in here so that it can simplify it. So I will be doing a full review. I'll talk about uh, different things that you can do with Jasper the accuracy. I have a couple things that I'll use to check the accuracy of the content. I'll play with some of the other templates of which there are many, many templates. I'll compare it to other tools and we'll look at uh, some of the other specifics between the, uh, you know, sort of basic mode and the boss mode. So if you want to see more of that, I'm, I am going to be digging in. Please subscribe to the channel. It does help me out and it lets me know that you're into these topics and you want to see more of these videos. And again, don't forget, I have a, an email list you can sign up for and basically it'll give you access to uh, some of the additional content, some of the other stuff that I'm going to be checking out with these tools. It will be free but you will have to sign up for the email list and it'll be something that you log into. It'll essentially be like a free course, but uh, you won't have to pay for it or anything like that. So you can just follow the link in the description. And uh, if you're signing up, like right when this video comes out, there may not be much there, but there will be as I publish stuff uh, pretty much in real time. So thanks a lot. My name is Doug Cunnington. I blog over at Niche Site Project. I have a podcast called The Doug Show and we talk about affiliate marketing and SEO have a lot of success stories. So check out those links in the description. We'll catch you on the next video.